where leaders across northern Nigeria have called on the federal government to suspend the planned 2022 population census. They say many Nigerians are still displaced and the census will also be a distraction to the coming general elections. TVC News correspondent Lupe Assam reports. Another conversation on the state of the nation. Here, Northern leaders have gathered to deliberate on the security and social economic challenges facing the nation. The theme is rebranding Nigeria and they have converged on the Arewa House in Kaduna State. The Northern elders express worry over the insecurity challenges ravaging the country. We have to really today and perhaps days to come put our heads together and see what we can salvage out of the mess that we are in in this country today. This is not fiction, this is not propaganda, it is a fact on the ground. We have millions of IDPs in the Northwest, in the Northwest, Buhari's zone. And they are refusing to accommodate these people and to consider the fact that we have internally displaced people. The current state of insecurity in the North is unprecedented and unacceptable. While commending the efforts of the nation's defense and security forces in rolling back sundry threats that have weakened the Nigerian state and made life almost valueless, the meeting advises the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari, governors and legislators to revisit and reprioritize spending on security and addressing the scourge of poverty. We recommend the increase in recruitment of security personnel. The meeting advises the federal government to postpone the planned 2022 national census in view of the large numbers of displaced Nigerians and the proximity of the census to the 2023 elections. It further urges President Muhammadu Buhari to assent to the proposed amendments to the Electoral Act, as this will improve the quality of elections stating, starting from 2023. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, they call on citizens to choose leaders who can save the country from collapse. Lupe Asan, TVC News, Kaduna.